so when we know how transport can occur now what uh, uh, equation should be used to uh, uh, combine all these transport mechanism and applying the uh, law of conservation of the mass and uh, considering how much constituents are coming into a, a fluid element how much is going out including that uh, advection transport and including the uh, diffusivity transport equation similar to the continuity equation we have dealt in uh, uh, river flow analysis and in dynamic uh, routing uh, similar equations can be developed so i i am not going into the derivation of this uh, advection dispersion equation we call it which can take care uh, of advection process and which can take care of the dispersion or diffusion process also uh, if anybody is interested, uh, uh, there is a book uh, called Fluvial Processes in River Engineering. So this Fluvial Processes in River Engineering, this is a sediment transport book. Uh, and uh, in uh, its page 142, 43 to 146, like we have derived the continuity equation for uh, uh, water in the channel, similar way they have derived this uh, uh, 1D, they have derived this 2D equation for uh, constituents movement or constituent transport, which is usually known as uh, advection dispersion equation. It is a continuity equation for constituents. So in one dimensional uh, term, if we see this equation, advection dispersion equation, you can see that it is similar to the continuity equation, which we are familiar. Continuity equation, if you remember, for one dimensional sand vignette equation, that was partial uh, a over partial T, partial A over partial T into partial Q over partial X was equal to the lateral inflows, if you remember that. So similar thing is over here. This A, if we if I take flow area to the left hand side, so this is partial A into concentration over partial T. So uh, uh, rate of change of concentration into A over partiality that is the first term that takes into account the unsteadiness uh, variation of the constituent with respect to time if i take this a on the left hand side flow area on the left hand side you can see that this is a uh, change of a into g u is actually q so it is uh, partial q over partial x into c so constituents multiplied by the flow rate uska and this is taking care of the diffusivity uh, transport or diffusion or dispersion transport, diffusivity coefficient time delta C over delta X. And variation of that one. And this is taking care another thing which we have not bring into our discussion up till now. In addition to these movement, there are some constitu constituent which decay with respect to time or which are being added with respect to time. So we can say this term Kc is source or sink. If it is a source, uh, then it means some concentration is being added. And this is the rate of that addition. K is actually the rate of that addition or subtraction. Uh, if some constitution is being added at a rate of uh, so much uh, uh, kg per day or so much uh, grams per day, so its uh, rate of addition is K and its concentration, uh, how much is the concentration is C. So this is handling source or sink. This is handling diffusivity phenomena and this is handling uh, uh, unsteadiness and this is handling the storage or flow rate change with respect to location. If it is a steady flow uh, uh, analysis, only this part will go away, delta C or delta T, this will go away. So then this analysis will be there. So if we extend it to the 2D, we get the same uh, delta H or delta C or delta T, and we get uh, variation with respect to X, variation with respect to Y. We, we use a diffusivity coefficient in X direction, we use a diffusivity coefficient in Y direction. So this is in 2D phenomena, uh, and this is the complete 3D advection dispersion equation. Uh, change of concentration with respect to time and change of concentration in all the three direction and the diffusivity in all the three direction and the sink and the source terms over here. So these equations are being utilized in uh, HECRAS also. They have used this equation and because HECRAS is one dimensional model, so it is using this, this one dimensional equation only. Uh, HECRAS is not a 2D or 3D model with respect to 
what what we call uh, uh, water quality analysis. Uh, if I go to these slides are just repetition of the previous slide, but uh, people have used other symbols. So I have put it over here and I'm not describing them. Uh, I want to go to the modeling. Uh, rather, first I go to the HECRAS. Uh, uh, we have seen this equation, 1D uh, advection dispersion equation, having a, a unsteadiness uh, or uh, acceleration, temporal acceleration, we say special acceleration uh, or variation, and this is diffusivity and this sink and source. Here I am comparing the manual of the HECRAS with the equation which we have informed you that this is the advection dispersion equation in one dimensional form and similar equation HECRAS is using for nutrients transport in HECRAS, but symbol views are a little bit different. As I told you, if I take this flow area on the left hand side, so I will be getting A into C over delta T. So similarly, he's using V into phi factor over here. V is the volume of the water uh, quality cell. So that is volume into phi. Phi is the temperature or concentration kg per cubic meter. So what does it become? Kg per cubic meter into cubic meter. Uh, this becomes uh, kg. It means it, this becomes load. So change of the load with respect to time. So that becomes uh, a change of concentration with respect to time into the area. So that becomes similar thing. So that uh, it is handling this part, the partial C or partial T into A, this thing. So this part and that part is taken on the right hand side. So that is changing the special uh, derivative, uh, this part over here. And diffusivity, he is using the symbol uh, tau over here for diffusivity. He's uh, not using E symbol over here, he's using ta. So symbols are a little bit different. Phi is that uh, concentration. Uh, instead of C, he's using phi. So that is the uh, diffusivity uh, movement. And here is the sink or source. Uh, he, instead of using KC, he's using the symbol S over here. So same equation as given by the Maidman, but with the different symbols are being used for modeling of the water quality in uh, in uh, Hecras also. Uh, 